You have entered the Chronics rabbit hole. And Chronicans, welcome to or welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle, aka Chronic, and I am so excited to get back to Ginger. They just had a new release called Kafka that made its way to YouTube, and we are here to check it out together. Thank you so much for being here. Let's do it. It's a very exciting time to be a Ginger fan. They got all these new releases coming out for their new album that is set to release next year. And we have a little write up here so that we all can get excited to see what we're about to jump into. So Ginger is, as we all know, Tatiana Schmeilach on vocals. We have Roman Ibram Kalilov on guitars, Eugene Avdokhanov on the bass, and Vlad Yulasevich on drums. Modern progressive leaders Ginger have announced their powerful, long-awaited fifth studio album, Duel, set to be released on February 7th, 2025 via Napalm Records. Duel showcases the band at the very top of their game and marks yet another matchless milestone in the world of modern metal. After releasing their breathtaking single and video, Someone's Daughter, followed by the heavy-hitting single, Rogue, Earlier this year, Ginger has now released another Untamed Beast with their new track, Kafka. Dominated by Tatiana's remarkably clear vocals, Kafka is a heavy and slow tamper, digging deep under one's skin just to break right through with venomous growls in the end, which I know I'm excited for. Tatiana Schmeilach on Kafka herself. Being an artist is sometimes beautiful, but most of the time, it's brutal. As our art is dissected word for word and ripped apart note by note, especially from reactors like me, we're expected to be on point all the time. And when we aren't, we are scandalized. A true artist is vulnerable, but the crowd is most often played with vultures who pick at every single move you make. Wow. Good way to say it. It's a slippery slope when music means the world to us, but how quickly praise turns into prosecution. We are all kings and queens for a day, but most of the time it feels like a Kafka novel for a lifetime. It's exciting but surreal and absurd at the same time. And if y'all have not read any Franz Kafka, um, I would suggest the Metamorphosis book that he has made. It's when um, I forgot exactly what type of person, but a man turns into a giant insect and we'll just kind of leave it there so I don't ruin anything else for it. But that's a very, very good book. And that makes sense why it's surreal and absurd and exciting all at the same time. So Duel's track listing before jumping into Kafka is Tantrum, Hedonist, Rogue, Tumbleweed, Green Serpent, Kafka, the one we're doing in a few moments. Dark Bile, Fast Draw, Someone's Daughter, A Tongue So Sly, and the self-titled track, Duel. So Duel will be available on a whole bunch of vinyls, including CD and digital as well. And to finish this off before jumping into Kafka, we have Eugene, the bassist, talking about the new album. First of all, it's hard to believe that we're about to release our fifth full-length album after all the releases we've made, finally having Duel in our hands and ready to be shared with the world makes us very proud that our band still hasn't run out of creativity and inspiration. Shout out to that. The fact that we still challenge ourselves to release the best music we ever made with each new release is what keeps Ginger moving forward. This upcoming album was the longest songwriting process we've ever had, and it took almost two years to complete. Wow. We worked very hard with every free minute we weren't on tour, recording demos over and over again and always searching for the perfect sound for guitars, bass, and drums. It was also the first time that Tatiana did vocal pre-productions, so it's safe to say that none of our releases were so well thought out and calculated as this one. That's incredible to know that the singing and all the instruments were all part of that. It pulverizes the boundaries of the modern progressive metal genre, but still remains sophisticated, exciting, and extreme all at the same time. That's a perfect way to explain Ginger there. Of course, Eugene can do it. We took up the challenge to expand our musical horizons even wider than before in order to cement Duel to be the next step in Ginger's musical growth and hopefully the evolution of metal music in general. And with that said, Kafka.
setting the stage with this. Nice lyric video too. Powerful lyrics. I love this art too here. Wow. Wow. What a powerful line. Every single line. Absurd of my existence. I'm aching through persistence. Wow. This is incredible, and I needed to pause it because I could have just kept listening to this. Honestly, Rome, Rome, on this with every single line, you fear, you just feel the connection between every single verse with this guitar work here. It's really incredible, and these lyrics are so penetrating. Where we know that this is about being like an artist is always being so scrutinized. We've talked to so many artists on this channel now, and that's the one thing that they have brought up is how everyone views them and the pressure that they feel, the bliss that it can be being an artist, but then having people that are dissecting every single word that you're saying, and you're persistently going through all this ache that is happening, what people are like saying about your art, uh, when really you just love music and you want to make sure people get to hear your love for your own music too. I, you can see that pain through this piece of art here. And I, and I love that um, Eugene mentioned that Tatiana's um, vocals were in the pre-recording. And because of that, I think you really can tell with the music itself. I think it's the best blend for lyrics and what the the musicians are doing themselves. So... That's really cool to have all that background knowledge and this artwork that they have here is uh it's eye opening. As I stepped upon the throat of my own song. Smell this 
<laughs> oh my god, this is so good. I'll surge my existence. <laughs> Absurd's my existence. Oh, how absurd. Yeah. Oh, my. They went for it on this one. This is an evolution for Ginger, what they want to bring. Um, I just love their storytelling feel, and you really could feel the pages being turned with this song, honestly. And it really helped with this incredible um, lyric video, honestly, um, getting to see all that which you didn't need because Tatiana was singing so cleanly throughout most of this majority of the song. Um, but just incredible because what Ginger and Tatiana can do when the shift of the song really wants to get its punch through, that's when Tatiana comes with her in impeccable growling. And that growling was so heavy hitting with those lyrics. Like her existence is absurdity. And could you imagine that? Like not having any rhyme to your reason or all that. And people like me, that man who like needs to, there has to be meaning in everything. There has to be purpose. The thing that's beautiful in, in the absurdness of Kafka is that is what Ginger and like, especially Tatiana, when you can feel that because she's the vocals here, that's what's pushing through this. And I think a lot of people, um, absurdity is their existence. So I think a lot of people can um, relate to this song and kind of use it as a war cry because I think a lot of people feel that absurd and have turned into something that they are not anymore and have to kind of live through that. And I think that's what Metamorphosis by Kafka, the novel, is really talking about. And that's what kind of happens throughout your metamorphosis as an artist, which it sounds like coming from Tatiana and Ginger here, is everyone scrutinizing every word and sound that they make um, can eventually turn you absurd to the point where you don't really give a crap about what anyone really has to say about you anymore. And that is the most freeing because then you can break norms and you don't have to stay to the what everything what people think it is and they like eugene was saying with duel they wanted to change what modern progressive metal is and this is what it is honestly it's abrupt it's absurd but it has meaning because of that and that is so cool to know that that's the that's at least what I'm getting from all of these songs so far from Duel, and it's that contrast. That's what a Duel is. It's two sides, and that's the two sides of being an artist, and that is you're going to be loved, but you're also going to be criticized and scrutinized, and what that can turn you into, as we've seen with many people. Um, think of even Will Smith, one of the highest artist there was now can't even go back to the Oscars after winning Oscar for the best um, actor because he couldn't keep his shit together because of the scrutiny and all the pressure and all that going through their craft of actorhood as we all saw on on that stage so and that was absurd wasn't it that was um, still existence and that was reality and that's what a lot of this life is now it's a show now isn't it look at America with Trump and all them and the whole world there's a lot of things going on and Ginger would know because of what's happening in Ukraine so you need to have music like this to get through these times and what what better way to do it than Ginger who are the best at it in my opinion pushing the envelope while being upfront about it so thank you all so much for being at this reaction. I hope you had a good time. And if you've been enjoying it, please hit the like button on your way out and comment down below if you think I should do a full reaction to Duel once it does come out February 7th. I know I would be very interested in that. But we are now exiting the rabbit hole, folks. Please subscribe if you are new and want to become a Chronican. Peace and love.
God bless y'all.